All right. So if you haven't heard around the interweb, Jill Scott fillets a microphone. And so if you haven't seen it, we're going to watch it right now so that you can see that for yourself. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Go ahead, Jilly from Philly. Go on. <laughs> the balls, <laughs> And with the big finish at the end. And then she wipes it off. And then licks it. Oh, wait, she rubbed it around her lips. La, the girl nasty. <laughs> she nasty. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you know what? I had This was my first time seeing the full, full video until the end. Because I've been looking for this video throughout the day. And then I just got it. Uh, boys and girls, children, let's have a phone conversation. Well, let's have a phone conversation. Let's have a chat about this. Okay, so what are your thoughts about this? Because... I um when I went when I clicked on the video just a few moments ago I saw people talking about oh how this is not respectful other people talking about they'll never look at Jill Scott the same way cuz she was auntie Jill and all this other stuff oh, lord of mercy you know what there's so much going on I don't want to spend a lot of time on this I just want to get in and get out Number one, have people, have these people ever really listened? Oh, wait, where am I looking? Have these people ever really listened to Jill Scott? She's constantly singing about sex with her sexy voice and how did this, that, and the other, and her king and all the sweat and all and the, the, the smell of sex. And come on. I mean, Jill Scott is a very sexual, sensual singer. She's been sexual and sensual for years. I'm, I'm like, what have other people been listening to? That's one. Two, you know, we have got to get out of this whole virgin whore, Madonna whore complex that men are pushing onto women. This is one woman and how she chooses to express herself. Grown woman. And she has the right to express herself in this way. Look, you know what? People act like, you know what? I blame the parents. I blame religion. I blame parents who are under the influence of religion. Because some of us act like, you know what? I was reading this book. I'm going to say this and then we're going we're gonna to jump out of here. I was reading this book that was talking about the lies that parents tell their children in pretending to be asexual so that when the children start going through puberty they're like what's going on with me when they start having interest in the opposite sex or same sex or whatever but when they start having sexual interest they feel like something's wrong with them because they come from a sexless household where there is no where there's no one there's no mention of sex and sexuality there's no demonstration of sexuality in the household and there's absolutely no demonstration of their mother participating in in or 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 holding a sexual space which is so tragic because if it wasn't for sex near one of us would be here none of us would be here if it wasn't for sex none of us would be here listen to what it is that i'm saying every single one of your mothers was out there if she was doing it how she's supposed to be doing she'd be out there too like mm -mm, too and so it's like we put women in these boxes in these categories where we're like oh i can't respect you if I can't respect I, I i can't respect you if you're sexual i can't respect you and then we talked about this in my other video it really, if she was, if she, if she was like, mm, and little, 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 doing so, little, little, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that was not sexy, but doing that formation for a woman or whatnot, I can imagine that there would be much less people who would be so offended because female sexuality is honored, but male sexuality is degraded. And the worst part is that it's degraded by men. Like, how dare you want penis? How dare you want to suck penis? 
penis. Your dirty penis sucker. Even suck my D-I-C-K is an insult that boys used to say. And people still say that nowadays. Listen, I'm, I, I'm out of here. I want to hear your thoughts about the video below about this scene. Actually, you know what? There's a part of me that doesn't really want to hear your thoughts because when it comes to a woman freely expressing her, when it comes to goddess fully expressing her sensuality and her sexuality, you know, we're so backwards as a society. And I wish, I wish that we could do away with all religion. And people ask, oh, well, how will people be good? If you need the threat of a fiery inferno to be good to other people, you've already messed up. Man, 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 I'm out of here. Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Peace.